Are you hungry for adventure? Well then this is the quest for you. Indie Crafting's latest drama slash thriller adventure map is one to be experienced. Made for the caved-in contest on PlanetMinecraft.com, this map will screw with your head, as well as immerse you in the world of Kidnapped. You play the role of Steve, who is searching for several children who have been trapped in a lost mine. The only knowledge you have of their existence is a note telling you that they've been taken and that their parents are dead. And it's your job to venture down through the mines to find them. Now instantly, you care not for the kids, and to be fair, you have no reason to. They're not your kids and you have no attachment to them. But with a small amount of heartfelt writing, Please tell them how happy we were. Here's a picture of our daughter too. She's Shannon. She has a dog named Mick. Please rescue them. Take our stuff, it's all we have. You're now attached, and you now care. As you go through the map, you are reminded of your quest to save these children, which keeps you motivated to keep going. It's nice to feel that you have a quest that you're emotionally attached to. It makes it easier for you to relate to, as well as fleshing out the characteristics of the main character, who in this case is Steve. And let's be honest, Steve is a common character in lots of adventure maps, so creating personal characteristics separates him out from the rest. To be truthful, it would have been better to have someone else. There was real opportunity here to create and develop a new character. This would have been a good way to go if Indie Craftings wanted to make a sequel. As you go through, you are introduced to this concept of gates. There is no explanation to what gates are and why they exist in this world, but when you stand on them, you get transported around. Now this does not make a lot of sense to start with, and this is an unexplained concept that might scare people off, but it makes a lot of sense towards the end of the adventure. As you adventure on, you find yourself seeing some very unusual and maybe out of place objects, such as the giant orange. At this point, the story falls apart a little and you lose a sense of what's going on, who died, and even where you are. But it's all a necessary story plot, and I hope it won't scare people off. There is a couple of points where you have to fight off mobs to get to the next area, which can be annoying. I found myself not taking the necessary gear for combat and ending up fighting spiders with my fists. my fault than the maps, but I felt the respawn time was so fast my gear would be breaking, and I would not have much time to proceed to the next area. This came a little aggravating after a while. Although the spiders were annoying, they played a big part in the fear you felt. There would be times where you would have to run from these monsters as they fell from the sky, with their green eyes and creepy legs. This injects fear into the adventure and gives you an enemy to hate, as well as dread. The use of thunder was excellent as well. The caves would light up with flashing lights as spiders fell on top of you. I don't want to spoil the end for you guys, so go check it out. There is a great twist at the end, which will blow your minds. For my final verdict, I'm going to give Kidnapped a 7 out of 10 diamonds. This is a strong, emotional, and well set up immersive experience. It falls behind a bit on the character development side and the respawn times of the mobs and the fights. But apart from this, it's a good, solid adventure map. Go download it, and the links will be in the description. If you guys like, go play it, then leave a comment below telling me what you liked about it, what you didn't like, and give it a rating. See you guys next time.
Hey guys, big thanks for watching my video. If you want, you can click that like button and comment. Also, if you really want to support me, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, see you next time.